Hello, my fellow nurses, colleagues, and friends. Good morning. Welcome to our department, and in behalf to our nursing faculty, such an honor to be one of your speaker today. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Sanchez, working in the emergency ambulance department as a nurse paramedic. I have worked in various fields, especially in the emergency department and ambulance operation for more than 10 years now and most of my experience was in the Middle East. I am now 36 years old, graduated and a professional nurse like you in my home country Philippines from Batch 2008. I am looking forward to work with you guys from our department soon. And today, since we are here in the emergency ambulance department, we will discuss about the safe administration of auto-injector epinephrine or simply we call it single dose epipen in ER or ambulance. We will also tackle about the medicine itself when we will give it contraindications, medicine routes, and especially how to use it during emergency. But before that, let me greet my professor, Dr. Jan Rainier Balaria. Good morning and good afternoon, doctor. My teaching strategies method that I will use today will be the standard lecture as I mentioned from my previous assignment which I believe one of the most effective way in providing teaching was face to face with the use of available resources we can find. Primarily, I am using my laptop or desktop computers with projector and shown to them using the Microsoft presentation. Okay guys, what is epinephrine? Epinephrine is a life-saving drug that reverses the symptoms to treat severe allergic reactions that we call anaphylaxis from insect stings or bites. Epinephrine also used to treat allergy from the food that we eat and drugs that we take. Adrenaline or epinephrine also used to treat for low blood pressure call it hypotension that is caused by septic shock. We have generic name, we call it epinephrine, brand name adrenaline or epipen, drug classes, epinephrine belongs to adrenergic bronchodilators and vasopressors. Recommended dosage For patient greater than 30 kg, we give 0.3 microgram And for patient between 15 kg to 30 kg, we give 0.15 microgram Some common side effects We have breathing problems Fast, irregular, or pounding heartbeats, pale skin and sweating, nausea and vomiting, dizziness, weakness or tremors, headache, feeling restless, fearful, and nervousness, and of course, anxious or excited. We have uh, contraindications, contraindications with uh, epinephrine, any past use of adrenaline ar allergic reactions, patient with heart diseases or high blood pressure, patient with asthma, patient with Parkinson's diseases, depression or mental illness, patient with thyroid disorder, and lastly patient with diabetes. Okay, some uh, guys, some special considerations before we give epinephrine or epipen. Patient is pregnant, and of course, do not inject into vein or into the buttocks. Inject it directly to the portion of your thigh muscle. 
any accident or accidentally injecting into your hands or feet may result a blood flow and can cause local numbness. Do not try to reinsert an auto injector a second time. Okay, continue. Discard if needle is bent from the first use. It may cause serious injury to the patient. Okay, effect of epinephrine may last between 10 to 20 minutes. Seek any emergency medical attention if you accidentally inject yourself while giving epinephrine to others. And of course, store the EpiPen or medicine at room temperature away from moisture, heat, and light. Do not refrigerate or freeze the medicines. Do not use if there is some changes in color and has particles in it. Of course, check the expiration date and discard after use and place them in a punctured proof container. So how we give the or the administration of EpiPen and its root? Of course, introduce yourself to the patient. Calm the patient. Patient writes. Follow all the direction from the previous medication from the provided medication leaflet and read all the guidelines in the instruction sheet exactly as directed. So EpiPen auto inject and inject to your outer thigh muscle and if there is emergency situation EpiPen can be given directly directly through your clothing so guys we have a small presentation a video presentation how to give EpiPen this video shows how to use an EpiPen to help someone who is having a severe allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis Follow instructions on the ASCIA action plan stored with their EpiPen. When someone is having anaphylaxis, help them lie down. If breathing is difficult, help them sit up, but they should not stand or walk. Make a fist around the middle of the EpiPen, keeping your fingers and thumb away from either end. When you hold the EpiPen, it's blue to the sky and orange to the thigh. Pull off the blue safety release. Place the orange end firmly against the middle of the outer thigh. The EpiPen works through a single layer of clothing, but not through pockets or seams. Push the EpiPen down onto the thigh until you hear a click. Hold firmly in place while counting to three. When you remove the EpiPen, the orange end will extend over the needle. Put the EpiPen to one side. Allow the person to stand or walk at any time. The person must stay in hospital for at least four hours. For more information on allergy and anaphylaxis, visit the website for the Australasian Society of Clinical Immunology and Allergy. This video shows how to use an EpiPen to help... Okay guys. References. And that's it guys thank you for your time and hope you i hope you enjoy our mini presentation today and of course thank you dr john balaria for your time and have a good day sir god bless